just talking about us. And then right then, bumped them up. Yeah, Marty Stoudemire too. Marty Stoudemire, yeah. Yeah, see that's so a lot of our people they gonna wake up even in the uh uh in the realm of being celebrities. Right, go ahead. And, and I said unto uh, her. Three and three, right? Yeah, uh Hosea three uh, three and four. Hosea three and four, read. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. The Lord said we abide many days without a king. And without I, know, I, know, I know you ain't telling me uh, uh, American Pharaoh is our king, Barack Obama, right? That's not our king, right? Go ahead. And, and without a prince. And without a prince, go ahead. And without a sacrifice. And without a sacrifice. We don't have a king, right? We don't have a prince, a ruler. We don't have a sacrifice. We don't have the sacrificial law set up. We don't have nobody that's willing to sacrifice their body and themselves for the betterment of our people. Right, so we don't have a sacrifice either way. Right, come on. And without an image. And with what? And without an image. And without an image, a spiritual, physical, or mental image that we have as a people. We don't have an image. And the so-called white man made sure of that with the media. That's why uh, uh, Bill Cosby went from America's dad to America's rapist. Bring it up. Like, like the rest of Hollywood didn't use no damn quaaludes and date rape drugs. Man, that's all they do. But bring the black man out. Now, I'm not justifying a brother. If he's guilty, especially if he did it to women of his own nation, that's wicked. That's wicked as hell. But it shows you the media use every opportunity to assassinate our image. And now they say, listen, we cover to kill you, Lion of Judah, by way of Cecil. Right? We're going to kill Cecil the lion like we're going to kill the black man. Right? Go ahead. And without an ephah. And without what? An ephah. An ephah, what the priest used to wear, what the priest used to have for the uh, temple and for the, uh, the service of the Most High. Go ahead. And without a temple. Uh, uh, without a teraphim. Right? These are different uh, items that the priests had to do their ministry. Go ahead. After shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God. But see that? The Lord said, in all that curse of ignorance, the children of Israel are going to return and we're going to seek the Lord our God. Come on. And David their king. And our King David, right? That's going to be established under Christ, under Hamashiach, Yahushua. Go ahead. And shall fear the Lord and his goodness in their latter days. The Lord said we're going to fear the most high power God of Israel and his goodness in the latter, what's up, bro? In the latter days, right? Because we're going to start showing his power on a high level. He's already doing it, but he's going to increase it. He's going to turn it up. But he's already doing it. So we have to come out here and cry and sigh for all those that are upset and mad about the abominations that's done therein. Give me uh, Proverbs 1 and 5. Give me um, um, Proverbs 9 and 9. Right, Proverbs 1 and 5 and Proverbs 9 and 9. So we're going to get a few more uh, uh, to edify y'all and then start to wind it down. You know, the brothers did a good effort, been out here toiling in the sun and the heat, you know, putting in this work. You know, not that we complaining, but, you know, it's a sacrifice. It's a labor of love. Right, brothers are not out here just to be out here. This is serious. Awaken the nation of Israel so this kingdom can be destroyed. Right, read what you got, brother. Proverbs 1 and 5. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. Go ahead. A wise man will hear. See that? A wise man will hear. So a lot of y'all that stop and hear, y'all got wisdom. Y'all have common sense. Y'all know something is not right. Y'all say to yourself, what these brothers are saying makes sense and it's coming directly out of the word of God. Right, read it again. A wise man will hear. Go ahead. And a... And will increase in learning. See that? So that's why you come. Because you hear and then you increase in learning. Well, these brothers are saying, you know, I'm a man of wisdom. I know what they say saying makes sense. It's coming out the Bible. That's God's word. Right? Go ahead. And a man of understanding. And a man of understanding. What is understanding? Comprehension. A man of comprehension. Come on. Shall attain wise counsel. Shall what? Shall attain wise counsel. A man of understanding is going to attain wise counsel. See that? So don't, don't you know, feel good when you could come out here and the Most High could direct you to where the men of the Lord are teaching His Word. Feel good about yourself because that means He gave you the spirit of wisdom. He gave you the spirit of understanding. He gave you the spirit of knowledge. Right now, give me uh, Proverbs 9 and 9. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. Right, that's Proverbs that, right? One 9 and 9. Read that, brother. Give instruction to a wise man. So the Bible says, give instruction to a wise man. A man that knows common sense already. Give instruction to him. Come on. And he will yet, and he will be yet wiser. And that man will be yet wiser. 
So give instruction to that wise man, and that wise man is going to get even more wiser. Right, come on. Teach a just man. What did the Lord say? Teach a just man. Teach a just man. Go ahead. And he will increase in learning. And the Lord said that man will increase in learning. He give instruction to a wise man and a just man, and they will increase in learning. But a fool, you can't teach him nothing. Now that's how a lot of our people are. They're hard-headed and stiff-necked. You give me uh, Zechariah 7 and 11, and you give me uh, 2 Peter 2 and 12. A lot of our people are hard-headed, stiff-necked, rebellious. Can't tell them nothing. Stubborn. That's why they're going to die with America. The nuclear bomb's going to evaporate them. But they don't have no patience. They don't have no love for each other. They don't have no long-suffering with each other. Just so quick, man. As soon as another black or Hispanic man or woman, oh, you quick to want to fight. You quick to want to do something evil. Right? Why? Because we're under this divine curse. But then, when a the white man is killing us, taking us on a... Uh, what was it in Baltimore? A rough ride, right? right. right. I, I just saw on the um, on a news feed today, uh, 40, 42 killings, right? What do you call it? A roller coaster. Check that out. I just saw on a news feed today, forty two killings in Baltimore, and forty five killings in Baltimore in a month of July alone. Where's the protest for that? Where's the riot for that? Right? Where's the be more right? They, they nicknamed. Huh? A roller coaster? They call a rough ride a roller coaster, but 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 the, I never heard that. The sister just brought that out. I didn't do that. Right? Yeah, roller coaster. Well, that makes sense. They taking you on a roller coaster ride with your head, but you just not strapped in like a regular roller coaster. You out, so your head, your body, and everything could get bumped up against nails and metal, and, and you could die. Can't protect yourself. Can't protect yourself. Right? They they nicknamed Baltimore a uh, body war. Right? Yeah, they call it body war. Like they uh, uh, nicknamed Philadelphia, Philadelphia. They nicknamed Chicago, Chirac. Why? Because these cities are now notorious for murder and killing each other. So now where is the protest? Where's the riots like you did back in April, May, whatever that was, for the 45 people that's killed in July? Hey man, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 15, man, be ready. Right. Well, that's the way, man. Right. No doubt. Okay, no doubt, brother. All right. Brother's going to be there teaching the Bible. Damn. Right, read what you got. Second Peter 2 and... No, get that one for Zechariah 7 and 11. I don't know what he said. Right. Zechariah 10, 10, 7 and 10, 10, 11. 15. But they refused to hearken. What did the Lord say? But they refused to hearken. A lot of our people, they refuse to hearken. That's where they're going to get death. They're going to get destruction. They're going to get punishment from the Most High. Repeat it again. But they refused to hearken. They refused to hearken. Meaning, listen, God... Pull away the show. Uh, I want to hear what them guys got to say, man. They always teaching hate. They always got them funny looking garments on. They get on my nerves. They always yelling. They hate black women. All the stereotypical things about Hebrew Israelites. Right? Come on. They stop their ear. And they stop their ear. I don't want to hear that. Da, 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 da. I don't want to hear what y'all say. Those are lies. Right? I'm going to church Sunday morning. Right? You guys are false prophets. All these uh, 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 railing accusations That's against us that they bring in. Go ahead, brother. I think the Klan is showing us a sign. Nine people got killed in the church. Say it again? Nine people got killed in the church. Nine people got killed in the they church. They got right. quote praying but not watching. Huh? They got quote praying but not watching. Right. Christ said pray is but it's watch. That's right. Matthew 26, 41. That's Christ said watch. watch and pray. That's right. That you enter not into temptation. Right. That's good, brother. Good observation. Good observation. Right? Yeah. But that's what they get, man. The scriptures tell you in their pocket for. Uh, uh, it said, uh, bring not every man into thy house, for the deceitful man have many trains. Trains meaning what? A deceitful man have many thought, different thoughts, different things he thinking. So the Bible tells us, bring not every man into your house. And it don't have to be your actual house, meaning you cannot bring every man in your circle. Because a deceitful man have many trains. And the scripture tell you, they plotting and scheming. So he walks up in there and sit with them for an hour in Bible study, not knowing, I'm going to kill you Negroes when it's all over. Sure. So you spoke, you were supposed to scrutinize this dude and not just let him up in your church like that. Right? If me and you walked in there, they probably would have did that. But did he walked in there, he probably would have been like, hey, brother, how you doing? Who are you? Where you from? Uh, how did you learn about this? But the white man walking there, he gets welcomed like uh, Caesar Borgias, like white Christ. Right? So go ahead. Read on. Give me these last two. Uh, We're going to shut it down. Right, read and that, stop bro. their ear. And what? And stop their ear. Ah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that Bible. I don't want to hear that word. Go ahead. That they should not hear. That they should not hear. How people are rebellious, man. They stubborn. They put semen in their ears, man. So they can't hear this word. Right, go ahead. Ye, they made their hearts 
as an, as an amendment stone. As adamant stone. Go ahead. Least they should hear the law and the words with the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the former prophet. See that they made their heart as an adamant stone. Right? They were adamant with it. I don't want.